Hi guys, it's Sarah from Oil Life and I'm here with DIY Tuesday. You guys know how it goes. We are here to do a DIY for you today and we are going to be making a DIY respiratory stick. So these are awesome respiratory support stick, that's what it's called. Uh, so these are great because it's cold season, flu season, everyone knows you get sick when it starts getting colder. So this is perfect for this time of year. Um, but before we get started on that, I want to say thank you. This recipe is from Ashley uh, from Essentially Joyful. So if you guys want to learn more about uh, building your business and uh, get some inspiration about that, you can actually follow her on Instagram or Facebook. We've included her handles in the description on this video. So check her out. She's awesome. Um, today's giveaway, we will be giving away um, a holiday DIY kit. So this is brand new, it's out, and this is the perfect time to get it. If you want to get the holiday DIY kit, get it now so that you can make these all throughout the holiday season. You know Thanksgiving's over, so it's time to pull out your Christmas trees, get out your nutcrackers, the stockings, and everything. So if you do want to get the holiday DIY kit, get it sooner rather than later so you can use it all holiday season. So we are doing a sale on this as well, so you can get it 50% off. That starts now and it goes until two o'clock tomorrow. So 24 hour sale, you can get the DIY kit 50% off. And then we will do today, for every 30 shares that we get, we will give away another download. So share this video, um, let us know if you like it, let us know if you think it's cute. There's a lot of cute stuff in here. We've got all the boxes, we've got the table tents, all the recipes, all the fun stuff. So. Get this, it's the best, and we are doing a sale on it right now. So, this is our giveaway for the day. So, to get going, we will make our respiratory stick, and as I said, this is really great for this time of the year because this is when everyone's getting sick, right? I think I was sick like two weeks ago. So, it's time to, you know, get it under control, and this is a good way to start. Uh, it does have our respiratory blend in it, so that's a good thing. So to make this, uh, you're going to start with a couple of our essential ingredients. We sell all of these at Oil Life. So we have shea butter, we've got beeswax, and then we've got our fractionated coconut oil. So first things first, we have uh, beeswax. We will be doing two tablespoons of beeswax. And so you are going to want to put this into a microwave safe bowl. Um, I chose a glass one. Um, and you can also make this on the stove if you'd like. Um, I just choose to make it in the microwave because it's a little bit quicker. So totally up to you, um, but you're just going to want to melt all the ingredients together. So if it is on the stove, make sure everything's all melted before you take it off the heat. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons of beeswax. It'll all come out, there we go. Next is going to be our coconut oil. So I'm using fractionated coconut oil. You can also use avocado oil and we sell that as well. So it's totally up to you. Uh, but as I said, I'm using fractionated coconut oil and it is 1.5 tablespoons. So I've got my one tablespoon. And then I've got my half. Okay, put that right in there. And then last we are going to do shea butter. So for those of you that have used shea butter before, you know it can be a little bit tough to get out, so I'd recommend getting another spoon to aid you because it can be a little bit difficult to get it out of the jar. Uh, but shea butter is the best. It makes whatever you're making softer, goes for your hands, super moisturizing. So I'm going to do three tablespoons of shea butter. And this doesn't have to be super exact as long as it's close. Okay, so there we go. We've got one. It's so sticky, but it's great. So while I'm making this, tell me, how do you guys protect against, um, you know, the cold, the common flu, cold, all those different sicknesses that come around at this time of year? What do you do? How do you use your essential oils to um, prevent sickness? Or if you do end up getting sick like I did, uh, how do you use them to heal or to feel better while you're sick? Let me know. Do you like to use your diffusers and use respiratory blend in there? What oils do you like to use? Um, this will be good for everyone watching. Everyone loves new tips on how to feel better. So let us know, what do you like to do when you are feeling sick? Because it happens to the best of us, right? 
We all get sick every once in a while. Okay, there's two. Now I just need to get my third. And then we'll be ready to microwave. Spoonful number three. It is going to go in the microwave for two minutes. So I'm gonna pull it out halfway um, and just give it a little stir uh, just to make sure it doesn't burn or anything like that. But it will go in for a total of two minutes. So I'm just gonna put this right in here. So while we are waiting for that to finish, I do want to open up our Essential Life book. You guys are probably familiar with this. This is our fourth edition Essential Life book, and it is the best. It's like your oil Bible, and it'll take care of all of your essential oil needs. Uh, so we are using our respiratory blend. We're using cardamom and lime in today's um, recipe. So I wanted to open up to those pages and show you um, some great resources that you can use when it comes to um, essential oil books. Uh, this page right here is great. It shows. We have these for every single oil and every blend, so it'll show you um, the top uses for it. It'll show you all the um, the top priorities, what it blends well with, um, safety information, all that good stuff. So as you can see right here, one of the top uses is congestion. Um, it helps with stomach ache, things like that, um, sore throat, fever. So as you can see, this is a really, really great one for when you're feeling sick. Next one I have bookmarked here is lime. Uh, same thing, this one talks about respiratory, um, congestion, all those different types of things. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to stir the mixture. So, if you can kind of see that, that's what it's going to look like about halfway through. Uh, the beeswax hasn't started to melt yet, so just give it a good stir and make sure it's all mixed in and not sticking to the sides or to the bottoms. Maybe use another spoon to get all the pieces off. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it back in for one more minute. Okay, back to what I was saying. We have our Essential Life book. So, it'll tell you top uses, like I said, um, and as you can see, we picked oils, or Ashley picked oils for us that are all great for congestion and sickness. Um, Next, we move over to the blend section. We do have the respiratory blend, the respiration blend. Um, and same thing, cold, congestion, bronchitis, uh, helping with your sinuses, sleep issues, all sorts of things like this. So putting all these oils in one um, recipe, in one DIY, is great because it'll help with all these different things. So you can check out what all your oils are for, what the uses are, um, and it tells you what they blend well with so that if you are making your own recipes, your own DIYs, you can make sure all your oils go well together. So that is super, super nice to have. So our mixture has a couple more seconds. Uh, when it comes out, that is when you're going to want to stir your oils in because if we put our oils in before the microwave, we can um, ruin the publishing. Um, it's a little bit hot, so be aware of that. We are going to start with our respiratory blend and we are going to put 40 drops in. So quite a bit of this. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, 40 drops of that, quite a bit. Next we will have cardamom and we are going to do 25 drops of that. Quite a bit of oils in here. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25. There we go. And then last but not least, we have lime. We are only going to do 15 drops of lime. Perfect. Okay, so that is all that goes into this. 
So remember it is hot, but you're gonna wanna stir that all together and then you'll be ready to pour it into wherever you choose to put it. So I pulled out these fun, they are, what are these called? They are um, kind of like big lip balm tubes, but they're great for body butters or for um, body balms, things like that, because they do roll up and so you can use it like a big glue stick. It's kind of fun. Um, so I pulled out these, uh, this is about three to four ounces of, um, of liquid. So you're gonna wanna budget for that. Um, I also pulled out a four ounce jar that we have. This is kind of a fun one because you can put it in there and just take some and rub it wherever you choose. Um, but I am going to put it in our two little um, lip balm tubes kind of, body balm tubes. So if your jar is hot, make sure you have a, um, a rag of sorts. And I'm gonna grab one one second. So I'm gonna grab some sort of a rag and I'm going to make sure to not burn myself and I'm gonna pour it evenly into these two tubes. Um, if you do have a glass, um, I made a mess, don't mind me. If you don't make a mess like I do, it'll fit into two, but I just made the biggest mess ever. Um, and so you can pour it evenly into two different ones. It should fill about one and two thirds. So make sure you are distributing them evenly and they'll roll up, so it's totally fine. But you're gonna wanna pour it in there and then it'll take probably about two hours for it to cool um, and set. And then once it does, you'll be ready to use it. So these are ones that I already made. So it's kind of fun. This is what they look like when they're finished. And so all you need to do is roll them up like that this one's freshly made and then you can actually roll on your skin and it goes on smoothly so as you can see that's what it's gonna look like and you can use it wherever um, Ashley recommended we use this on our chest or on the bottoms of our feet uh, but use it wherever you'd like this is a great balm to make so that's all we have for you. Remember to share this video for every 30 shares, we will be giving away a holiday DIY kit. Um, so look forward to that. And we are doing a sale 50% off the DIY kits for the next 24 hours. So get one while you can, these are great. And you can start making your holiday DIY recipes to prevent the cold and to get ready for the holiday season. So let us know if you make this, if you like it. And um, that's all we have for before today. Before we go, yes, um, we're doing a 30% off your entire purchase today with the code giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday. Okay, if you didn't hear that, uh, today we are doing, if you go online and shop on our website, if you uh, put in the code giving Tuesday, you will get 30% off your entire purchase. So that is awesome. Definitely go do that. And yeah, that's all we have. So thanks for joining us today and we will see you on Friday.